Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and where I try to share views, education views on stocks through charts, uh, harmonics, Ichimoku and uh, times option data. Today I'm joined with me with Gaurav Singh who's an expert on derivatives. Hi Gaurav, how are Hi, you sir, being? Nice. How are you? It's a good, pleasure. Good, good. Enjoying the weekend? Video Enjoying the weekend? Okay, so uh, we've been uh, I've been posting a lot of late in my Telegram channel. This is the uh, Telegram channel, the Bull and the Bear link will be there in the uh, the video. So if you haven't joined till now, do join. But today we've uh, decided over the weekend, you know, to ask the members to give us one stock in which we could you know decode it for them. So today we're going to do a series of stocks, a lot, you know, as much as we could do that. Today is this will be the first of the videos on that now. So let's start off straight away with the stocks. So the yeah. first one in we are going to do it in alphabetical order. So there is no bias towards a particular person's uh, rec uh, view uh, request or a stock. We are going to do them one by one. So we start with Axis Bank. Now Axis Bank uh, had a fantastic move. You know, uh, results came out. There was a little bit of. Uh, Profit taking after the results came out. That's that's quite healthy, you know. It's such a solid move. Market must have discounted some part of it, and continues to you know show its way on the upside from here. There's not much weakness on screen in spite of this red candle out here and these two good sharp recovery. You can say that you know trying to do a sideways short term correction happening out here, which also now seems to be you know coming to an end. So as long as it holds this belt of 715 to uh, you know 720 it's going to be good even if 715 were to say you know test below that due to some event or something very good support coming in at the 700 zone out here this could be a sideways correction which is coming to an end in the extreme short term in access bank and up, you know if you want to be still very cautious in it because if you look at the weekly, this is a extremely thin wall out here uh, from an Ichimoku perspective. It's not it's not something I'm too much worried about on the break on the upside. But still, you know, from a conservative point of view, also if it sustains above 745, then the move can go till 790. 790 is the minimum I'm, I would be looking at because there is a harmonic, bearish harmonic around 790 bucks out there, which might try to stop the move out there. If that does not stop, then this is an ATH stock for 800. You know, you know, if you look at the trend line also out here, if you just draw a trend line from in this one out here, so it's it's quite quite big, quite big out here. So this kind of a move, you can say yes at eight, you know, 790, 800 might try to stop it. But if it can't stop that, then this is a ATH stock for 900 plus easily. So Gaurav, what is your option data telling yeah, you? What, I'll, just, what, I'll just explain. Yeah, so sir, yeah. uh, this is a new series. It started on Friday. So we yeah. have very limited data. So I'll just summarize from Friday's data and Thursday's data is also I'm taking that is the 28th of uh, yeah. July. Hmm. So what I could see from 28th of July, people were making like they were put writers heavy at 7.30 call. So right. the stock was ready to go up and Friday was a bullish day as we saw the big move. And hmm. if I see the data right now, there is a huge support from 7.30 till 700. So there's quite a bit put writing scene here and we're seeing unwinding at 750 and you've seen unwinding at lower strikes of 710 and 720 beginning of the series it's 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 a bullish signal and the what i see is my resistance coming here the massive resistance would be at 800 the, i think you have pointed 790 as your first yeah resistance. that's my that, you know once it goes above 745 non-stop exactly. till 790 exactly so right yeah. now the stock is bullish uh, about 750 with my derivative reading. So hmm. from 750 we should see a move till 800 odd levels. Oh so lovely. For you also it's the same. Level yeah, 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 so yeah. That's my short term outlook. You know, if if the trend continues like this, this excess bank can make an ETH also. Exactly. Won't and be it has a good support from 710 to 730. These levels yeah. are 710, 710. So, so it's uh, it's more of uh, buy the dip. Or, yeah. or the breakout right now. Perfect. Yeah. So Perfect. Buy about 750 for me or yeah. near 700, 
uh, 700 710 levels or yeah yeah so let's do the next one yeah which is uh, bajaj finserv okay okay so let's go stock which is in news these days yeah so that's bajaj finserv uh hmm. bajaj finserv okay technically fantastic you know the market reacted very sharply to its results you can add green candle in the weekly and all that it was moved up very sharp uh, mm. now you know after that it's quite natural you know there will be some long unwinding after such a sharp move you know btst traders uh, you know quick traders getting out much faster than that but it's not looking like you know any big huge resistance wall to me at all out here in fact you know if you are above 15300 out this level uh, there is nothing to stop it till 16000 17000 yeah i i can't see any resistance above 15350 if we take out this tiny doji candle formation on friday uh, above that can't see it stopping you know this very little ichimoku resistance in weekly monthly is not there at all right now so it will just blast okay yes in the extreme short term that is in the hourly uh, it could be a bit overbought so we could have one day sideways move or two day sideways move maximum and or you know strong opening pull back continues but above 50 350 this is not stopping and of course there's a caveat it should not crack below 14700 you know starts going below 14700 then i would be a worried person you know all the way down to 14 250 or like that otherwise no this this is going to hurt shorters quite bad i think those who are still short in this could be in for much more trouble in the yeah. coming days for yeah. sure yeah. So from my data what i can say you have given a level of 615 200 300 odds you are seeing yeah. a level yeah so there are green shoots seen in the data that the people who are bullish that the stock will move above 15 in 250 15 500 near term yeah uh, the resistance that it is facing is again at that level 15 250 okay. if it yeah. removes 15 250 then this stock is ready for a move and yeah. that move could could like i i don't know where it will go because i am seeing six, I'm, i'm not i'm not seeing this stock stopping before 16000 16 250 levels yeah there is nothing there, there is nothing to stop it absolutely except you know it could consolidate for some time because of over overbought uh, kind of zones like it was on friday extremely overbought in the short term otherwise nothing you know you know let let's try to draw a yeah. trend and line stock, i for me the stock is weak only below 50 14500 if we get a close below yeah, so my, yeah 14700 below it yeah. might do that small kind of testing uh, out there it's almost yeah, so, that there is nothing to stop this you know Absolutely. nothing there is nothing uh, yeah it's and there's a lot of shorts which is already developed yeah, already yeah so you know maybe you know maybe tomorrow monday you know going by what singapore is so maybe it goes here 15 800 900 does some sideways move like this this zone out here and then gives that big Yeah. move out here that that is also possible in this case not expecting too much decline happening in this one not happening it's, it's just uh, on the way up non stop like that it looks like so short term we have a nickel at 350 above that 16 17 uh, those uh, i don't know the people who asked whether it was from a medium long or a short term point of view uh, long term if this trend you know above 17000 odd out here let's let's yeah so above this level 7 between 17 800 would be where you know it might fall into some kind of selling pressure out here above this again no stopping because this kind of a move is suggest you know that if you see this was one correction this was a bigger correction and now the stock is turning so anything which would be above 18 find it from an investor point of view this zone would be an all time high stock maybe it will consolidate in that zone and then take off because correction wise you know big big turn around maybe consolidation yeah this is a volatile area inside this no doubt but overall looks very good really good yeah well, it's about weekly kijun as well right yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, next stock we have out here is uh, 
Bosch Limited. So, Bosch is the a illiquid stock. So, yeah, no option. In yeah. But Bosch is, you know, something uh, piercing in the monthly. Now, at a monthly resistance, gone above the weekly resistance, nice and easy. But Bosch is right now at a bearish bat. In fact, auto stocks did that decline on a bearish bat. So, there was a bearish bat out here. We turned around and from here it's gone up. So if it negates the bat, it has an alt bat all the way uh, up again. All the way up, which is somewhere here, out here. So if it sustains above this, then there will be major short covering. All those who shorted this harmonic bat out here, when we haven't short covered the shots till now, we are in for trouble. Then this move will go to 18,300 or particular levels and then just take off from there In from that point of view. Uh, where would I find strong support in a decline? I would say a support would be somewhere close to... Uh, 16,000? You know, yeah, yeah 16,000 odd is a fantastic support level. Then this bat would be you know, a sideways kind of move and then again take off for the higher side. Because look at the break on the weeklies on the upside monthly could be consolidating in that case in that in that factor that way so our next talk is uh, delta Corp. Sir, i'll just add it's, though it's illiquid bosch is illiquid yeah, yeah, that is yeah. the range uh, you can see in the derivative data 16000 to 18000 so any dip towards 16000 is a buy yeah yeah, yeah. And perfect about 18000 it won't stop it will just yeah move so the next one is delta Corp. Anything on Delta Corp do you have? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I have mm -hmm. Delta Corp. So I'll just I'll just reverse it. So mm -hmm. if my derivative data matches your technical analysis, I think mm -hmm. that would yeah, be great. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what I can see here, sir, is that uh, 200 is like a huge wall for Delta Corp. So uh -huh. the range from 200 to 205 would be a pain zone. But if the uh -huh. stock is able to cross 205 properly, then uh -huh. we are ready for a big move. And this move, I, I can't time the move because there's no heavy call writing scene above those strikes so it may huh. it may scale towards 240 or 250 you'll have to wait yeah. for further data yeah what is your technical yeah uh, support? so my my reading out here is that you know uh, above your uh, friday high which yeah. is 202.5 yeah. if it goes above and starts sustaining above that you know extremely close to a trail stop loss out here so if it goes above that then 220 is the earliest pause. It won't stop before 220 because I don't see any resistance before 215, 220 in the stock above Friday high. It will start pushing its way up to 220. And then from 220, if it, you know, if that level also breaks from the upside, you see more than 250, 260. So above Friday high, 200. Uh, 20 50 for a minimum 10 percent upside, even yeah, 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 yeah. And above that, there is a crazy move because that's not going to be that easy to breach. You know, this 220 wall not mm -hmm. going to be that easy. 220 is not going to be that easy. Anything above 220 would be a 250 260 end of uh move. While you know, supposing it this was a if it takes a trail stop loss tomorrow morning due to mm -hmm. some reason or the other, then I would say a re entry would be more closer to. 185 between 190 to 185 where you know again we, should, we would see longs coming into the picture between okay. that zone so no rushing into this particular one it's a high beta stock and it's also got a tendency to go into ban fno ban so i would say look at it with a bit of caution from a derivative point of view uh, from cash point of view uh, Medium to long term, above 220, we are looking at 250, 260. And then we review for more. Uh, too early to give a huge upside move in this. Uh, suggest a move like that. And for this round of the video, the last talk we have, before we go into the next round again, uh, is GNFC. Uh, anything on GNFC? Yes, yeah, just a second. This opening. Yeah. GNFC actually is a very interesting stock. Yeah. Uh, it has already trapped a lot of shorts here from 700 to 720 level. Yeah. But major trapping will happen only about 740. And if this stock is able to maintain a weekly, is able yeah. to 
close about 7:40 for at least two three days by this friday basically yeah then i'll go i'll just i'll just say trailer stop loss at every 10 20 points and write it for 800 odd levels okay okay so so in the, yeah so in the charts out here what i can see is you know this uh, the decline came from this particular line out here okay you now it this this line is from 2008 and it somehow every time it goes there it takes a pull back from there and this is quite a steep correction from there from okay. a, uh, fertilizer stocks and all you know so uh, good one a good push back and at a fantastic support now that's the good part the bounce came at a very good support there was no hesitancy smart money coming in and picking up the stock is a very good sign that uh, potential for upside is still very open for the stock out here so my my reading is like uh, quite similar the charts are suggesting if it can sustain above 740 now mm. we get we, we see it sustain for a Hour or two hours above that zone, you know, properly, not just a tick above seven forty. Then this stock has a potential to run to eight seventy five. You know, it will test this all time high if it can move its way out because I don't see any resistance above seven hundred and forty odd levels. So this zone, I would uh, uh, not, you know, rush into it. Let it go up. On the other hand, you know, if it comes down to seven hundred odd. i would review it there between uh, say in case it does not hold 700 then a bit worry for me till 660 then otherwise yeah. no uh, this right. doji That's candle right. out here is suggesting that uh, you know wait for the clarity to come and then enter or try to look at it near 700 700 if there is a dip near 700 earnings are due so let's see how this plays out chart wise upside looks too good above 740 not a stock to miss above 740 under any circumstances yeah, so we take a pause out here in the video and we'll come back again with more uh, in a couple of minutes yeah you were adding something god yeah tell yeah. yeah i think that for me this is only a buy above 740 yeah because compared to call writing put writing is not that heavy in the lower strikes yeah so yeah. i will not i will not buy until it it gives me a close hourly close or a two hourly close above 740 levels that is my condition yeah. by on this yeah 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 so we should see good short covering happening above that zone in this good good so before we close this one uh disclaimer please these are not recommendations please take them as an educational research yes. point of view please do your own research before taking a trading decision with that we wind up this one don't forget to like and share the channel and join the telegram one thank you also thank you